The last Boeing 747 in the Qantas fleet today made its final and spectacular farewell flight out of Sydney. The jumbo, lovingly named the Queen of the Skies, will soon be the Queen of the Desert in California, where it will be mothballed. To the drone of didge and click of stick, Australia today farewelled the plane known as the Queen of the Sky, the first plane many of us would fly. We've had 250 million people travel on these aircraft over the last 49 years. As the crew of Flight 747 tattooed their goodbyes on her fuselage, at the Opera House forecourt, hundreds of former flight staff gathered to tip their lids to the monarch that ruled the troposphere for half a century. The 747, the jumbo. Absolutely bulletproof, never had a problem. Never had a problem the whole time. She's kept all her children, everyone alive through all the years that I've been, you know, flying on her. Not many aeroplanes have actually lasted that long, so it's they obviously did something right. The Jumbo's history can be plotted by a timeline of flight attendants kit. Ah, the Yves Saint Laurent. My favourite. As they waited by the harbour, the final instructions for the final flight. 74 for the last time, you're clear for takeoff. And after one last departing shower from the fire trucks, QF 7474 left from 16 South. <laughs> to do her lap of honour over the harbour she had flown many times before. It's like losing a friend. Uh, the drive here, it was like going to a funeral. And uh, I hope you're not uh, filming me when uh, it flies over because I probably won't be able to keep uh, my composure. I will be uh, t tearing up. And as she roared low across her domain, they cheered her from the ground. <laughs> an era ending in Australian aviation. It's iconic and I think for a lot of us it's an end of an era. The last jumbo would leave her radar mark over her country of origin in a most unusual way before heading to the deserts of California. Mike Dalton, Nine News. Magnificent pictures on a cracking day. Here's Amber.